Britney's attitude should be FTK and FNF. In videos released by Kevin Federline, who called him? It shows Britney in two instances where she is pleading with her children to respect her, her care for them, her care for them. She expresses her care for them. She expresses her care for them and her fear for she expresses her care for them and her fear of them as well. You have to understand, Brittany, under the conservatorship, didn't have the motherly connection with them. The children, Brittany, under the conservatorship, didn't have that motherly connection with them. The children, the children weren't reliant on her. Brittany under the Brittany Brittany under the conservatorship impl implemented by people to control her didn't build that motherly connection with her children so the children weren't reliant on her so the children weren't reliant on her and from the verbiage in the video and from the verbiage in the video, sounds like they could go on without her. And even, and even though she's an icon legend, she's still a mother. And she's hurt. And even though she's an icon legend, she's still a mother. And she's hurt. But the boys, her sons, and probably a lot of males around her are condescending and gaslight her. And they work her up to a point where she has to get passionate about getting her point across. Take a look at the footage. I, I, they thought I, something was wrong with me because I had cysts. Your, your boobs are poking out. You have Come in here while we're trying to go to bed and then you just... Go and you it's say It's my house. If I forget something then I know this is my house. If I want to come in here and give you lotion for your face because it is coarse and all you tell me, no, it's fine, it's fine. No, it's not fine. You all better start respecting me. Are we clear? Yeah. And when Robin calls and you're all you're all even Robin's a fing kid. She goes, What have you been doing to your kids? You're all you all need to start treating me like a woman with worth. I am a woman, okay? Be nice to me. Do you understand? Yeah. Have you lost your f***ing mind? Have you lost your f***ing mind? I do care, but I'm shocked as f*** with you. And I don't know what to do. And I'm scared of you because you're weird, because you're going through puberty. I don't know what to say. But I do care more than you know. But don't be... My little body can't handle all of that. But it's like sometimes I just don't even know what to say with you. I was in shock. And I do care. No, you don't. If you really cared, you wouldn't take my phone away for literally... I was in shock in the store when I looked down. And Jaden, how are you so cool about that? Your brother being with Baron's big feet, size 13 now? Well, he's my brother. And all the more exposed his feet, your blood in an ice cream shop in, in, in Alaska weather. Don't you think that's a little odd? No. Uh, yeah, I think your phone should be gone. No, uh, okay. Yeah, for a very long time. Uh, yeah, for not wearing shoes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My phone's just going to be taken away forever because you know what, Jaden? Mom decides to take it away for me not wearing shoes. Jaden? Mm hmm. That's hilarious. Jin obviously thinks that. Are you wanting attention, baby? Is that why you're saying you Well, apparently, say? I wanted to do that in the first place, but you keep interrupting every sentence I say. So you what I seem like in my mind, I think you just care about yourself because you won't let us speak one word and you won't let us go anywhere we want to go. Want to I want to hear what you have to say. I'm listening. Well, I forget because you interrupt me and then I forgot what I'm going to say. <laughs> That's do you I... want to skate? Is that what you're doing? No, I don't know how and I didn't want to go to that place and we you never agreed to it. Roller I mean, ice skating baby is easy than roller skating. Why roller skating is actually harder because the, the grips on the, the ground are like raw, like rock, like that. Mm -hmm. It's smooth on ice. Ice is like smooth, like your skateboard.
And now they're calling Britney a racist in her attempts to defend herself against Kevin Federline's claim that she's an unfit parent. To which she responds, he has more weed in his house than Jay-Z, Ludacris, 50 Cent, all of them combined. Snoop Dogg. Now what people don't know is that these guys, Jay-Z, 50 Cent, Puff Daddy, Sean, P. Diddy, all have very successful weed businesses. Ludacris as well. Snoop Dogg is an avid smoker. But don't nobody care if she would have said Willie Nelson, Whoopi Goldberg, and fucking um, Susan Sarandon says she liked to smoke. Wouldn't nobody have cared? So buzzwords making points, but it's not a cause for race. We don't always have to go to race.